Hey folks, so I'm going to show you one of the things that I do when I make my fairy wings. Um, when I have my polymer clay and I have all my like really cool colors, um, is I use the straight edge to do an organic bend and I'll take and make my fairy wing by just taking my straight edge and putting it in and making a nice curve. It is so wonderful to work with a with these straight edge bendies. They have different size thicknesses, some of them. Um, but I'll just take and do my main bend. And then what I'll do is I'll, there's my point. And I'll take this and I will bend. And it almost makes like a shark fin. Like that. See that there? And then look at that shimmer. Okay, and then what I need to do is I need to make this be, um, so this is rounded, like think of, you know, you're thinking of a fairy's wing. And so, you know, obviously then you have to turn it the other way. So it's like three bends. Okay, so we're gonna go, like, hopefully you could see that. Did you see what I did there? I bent it again. And now your fairy wing is coming together and then it has it come down. And then this part here, you have a couple choices. So when I create fairy wings, let me show you one that I was working on. You can start to layer in different colors. So like if I wanted to give her or him um, a different wing um, underneath here at a different dimension and a different color tone. Like if I wanted to add, say, a purple underlayment like this, I could then cut this, lay it on top, okay, and then follow my curve and make a secondary um, wing. And luckily, what you can do is these are so wonderful, and you can bend them in every direction. So, there. And then I can start to develop so a, a unique-looking wing. It's got like a let another layer to it. And if I wanted to even go further, I could come back and remember, I can paint these any way I want. I could layer this back in, but push it down a little bit. Watch this. I could put it down a little bit like that and then bring it back in. And then I can take my scissors once it's all um, baked. And you can use bakeable clay. It's a liquid. I have used and loved it. And um, you can attach things together. And then you can take and give yourself some uh, dimension here, like a butterfly's wings. But again, this is a fairy wing I'm making. So there's a lot of really unique things you can do to create yourself a wing. And, and maybe you're like, I don't want that much. Again, all you have to do is use your straight edge to create these beautiful bits. And there you have it. And that's the start of a gorgeous fairy wing.